Welcome GA Spoiler Fast Channel. Plassey subscribe. More residents of Kaduna State have narrated their ordeals from the power outage that has crippled services at the state's general hospital, Savantasha. The residents' accounts followed a report published by the ICIR on Friday, September 1, which detailed how the hospital has been in darkness since August 2022. According to the report, the hospital has remained unconnected to the national grid due to the failure of the state government to capture it for bill payment, thus crippling efficient healthcare service in the hospital. The report detailed how patients and their caregivers battle suffocating heat and mosquitoes due to the absence of electricity. It also revealed that health workers use torchlights or rechargeable lamps to cater for patients at night. Following the report, more residents of the state who have suffered a horrible experience at the hospital reacted to the report on social media, calling on the governor of the state, Yuba Seni, to find a lasting solution to the problem. Reacting to the report on Facebook, one John Kifas narrated his experience when his daughter was admitted to the hospital. He wrote, This news is a fact because my daughter was admitted in June. The state of this hospital is pathetic. Though I must salute the effort of the health workers who despite the harsh working conditions, still gave their best using touch lights on that night we were admitted. I am not surprised that this hospital is in this state. The same story applies to our roads in Kaduna South, with the exception of Barnawa, which you know why. Schools, name them. The hospital is just one of the visible aspects of El Rufe's eight years of divisive governance in Kaduna State. I hope and pray that the current administration will do something regarding this hospital. Another Facebook user, Nanner Jeffrey, reacted, I was admitted there and vowed never to take any of my loved ones there again. May God bless us with good health. Another victim of neglect in the hospital, Jadonna Ephraim, reacted thus, I had a grueling experience there when my child was dying. I took my child to Barao Dicko against medical advice. A day later, my child returned to life. So, this is a report I can relate to. Sabo General Hospital, at the moment, is to be avoided. Similarly, many Nigerians have questioned why the government neglected the government facility, allowing residents and health workers to struggle for over one year. The ICIR report detailed how General Hospital in Sabantasha, Kaduna, has endured a year-long power outage, severely affecting healthcare delivery and patient welfare. The report highlighted how patients and caregivers face numerous challenges due to the lack of electricity. The report findings revealed that they endure stifling heat, rely on cell phone torches, and even face the threat of dangerous insects in the darkness. Access to clean water is also a source of concern. The hospital has a borehole, but the absence of electricity makes it impossible for people at the facility to pump water for basic needs.